So our first example is going to be around that manual A to B switching of nozzles. As you can see in this example, we're outlining the field. This could be a low drift nozzle for applications such as dicamba. We're going to switch then to the bead position nozzle and do the interior of the field, which could be a more conventional nozzle. Our next example is around that automatic nozzle switching. This feature, again, is an industry exclusive. And you'll see that we're able to maintain a target rate while changing ground speeds. So in this example, we're going to talk through that auto select feature, which automatically switches nozzles from A to B to maintain a target application rate while varying ground speeds. So you notice that we changed from A to B at around that eight mile an hour mark. We're gonna then change to A plus B to maintain that target rate. This example is showing the turn compensation capabilities. So you'll notice as the sprayer goes through the turn that we're able to maintain the application rate throughout the length of the boom. So you're not over applying on that inside part of the curve or under applying on the outside part of the boom. This next example is talking through the individual nozzle control. So going from being able to control a section, which is around 11 feet in width, to individual nozzle spacing, so 15 or 20 inches. And as you saw as we approached that waterway, each individual nozzle turned off and then once we were passed through it, they turned back on. So this example is again showing that high frequency pulsing. So first is a visual of our competition. And this is showing that 30 hertz pulsing. As you can see, once we zoom in on that coverage, we get better coverage out of the 30 hertz pulsing system compared to the 10 hertz. The next example is that high rate flow, which is another industry exclusive. As you can see, when we fill the container much faster than the competition, so we can apply up to 50 gallons per acre at a ground speed of 15 miles per hour. For our competition to meet that same rate, they'd have to be going around 9 miles per hour.